Good morning, everyone. And of course, it's gardeners, but there's gardeners all the time here. I'm having my coffee, and I wanted to kind of show you all the A6 covers I have. A6 is a size that I feel comfortable with. I know, um, well, I have like a Stella G half year that I want to use as a journal. Next, I have my five year that I use as um, an A6, which fits in the Chic Sparrow that I have in the Sojourner and I always have my illustrated Hobonichi. Now, I think I have too many. There are some that I don't gravitate towards even though I really like them. And so I wanted to make this video to um, show you all of them before I let go of some of them. And of course it's super loud, but that's okay. So this one is the hand stitch leather tee cover that I got uh, pre-loved. And I have to say, I really love it. I really, really love um, the feel and with this um, cut, with this design, I had a hand stitched leather tee cover a long time ago. You can probably find it on my channel when it was really hard to um, order from them. Now they have a website. I'll put it in the description box, which, you know, you can order anytime before you kind of had to wait. And then it was like within five minutes they were sold out. But I really, really, really like this um, design. Um, I really like the feel and as you notice there's there's kind of a commonality between these three i really wanted a cover with a snap now this one is my gelio that i painted and i will be letting go of um, this one it is i think perfect for someone who's going to use it as a wallet um but i won't and it just I love it, but for some reason I don't pick it up. So this one is definitely gonna go. And it's such a beautiful cover. Sometimes it's hard, I'm not a collector. Um, I'm not somebody who likes to collect things. Let's just say it that way, because obviously I do collect, but um, I get a little bit anxious when I have a lot of covers that just sit there. And even though I love these, I just feel like, well, yes, but I have not used this one and I have not used this one. And even though I just got it, I switched out of this one pretty fast as well. The reason being, I am so in love with this leather and this design with the leather that I found myself going back right back into it. It didn't, I don't know, it, did, it was too similar and not enough kind of thing. I'm sorry, the cat is opening the curtain, so it's gonna change the light. <laughs> um, this one, I really wanna love. Um, and I may stick with it. I'm not quite sure. I actually decided to keep my B6 from Lacau because I was selling it because I felt bad that it was sitting there, but I actually moved back in it. Um, and I'm glad I did. This one, the only reason I'm thinking of selling is when I saw Mitz, she has a cover from Lacau Right, and I think it's old boots and that leather really speaks to me and and I think this is the leather right here if I'm not mistaken um, but I'm not sure yet this one is one of those that I think I will grow to love I just haven't used it yet and if it, it feels um, I want to use it as a journal for sure so I'm gonna probably hang on to my this one is a locale the difference is you get a different stamp. And I have mostly Lorite, which is like a hand with um, fountain pen. I like the locale, it's kind of funny. So I have this locale in A6, and they're all quite similar as far as the size, you know? Across the board, I feel the only thing is, and I know Sojourner has one that's specifically for five year, and this is not it, but this really fits the five year well. Um, the Chic Sparrow in Earl Grey which I absolutely love this cover. Look at this patina. And the uh, Sojourner Travel Trifle, my cat trying to get out, uh, with the designer pocket and the caribou leather. Hold on a second, I'm gonna let my cat out. Okay, cat has been handled. Let's not make you shake too much. But I really, um, I think each, it's not necessarily about the leather or the design, it's about everything together and having making my own leather cover, I can tell you that in each hide there's very different pieces within the hide and I can I can see why you could fall in love with one versus another. Now this is not the case with hand stitched leather tee. I had one of their covers and this is the kind of leather that 
I, th I feel it kind of stays the same. I mean, it probably scratches and everything. I would love to see a really well-loved hand-stitched leather tee, um, but I just, it's a very different, you know, um, I don't know how they're called. There's, there's a certain name, but it, it almost feels, it's like a different side of the leather. You know, while all these are gonna patina and get scratched and all that stuff, I feel like this one for the most part is probably gonna stay pretty the same. Also, as a price range, this is pretty well priced, I have to say. And I think they offer free shipping. Now, I did not purchase this one from their store. I was going to, and then I saw somebody was selling it like little in California, so I got it way faster, and then I think it was, it might have been about the same price, maybe slightly cheaper. Um, the Jillio, obviously, I bought it pre-loved because I can't afford to buy um, their cover new, and I can't justify it. I just don't feel like, um, you know, it wasn't something where I was like, I really want this. I really need to um, pay the full price and get a new one. That said, I think it's a great cover for people that use it as a wallet. And you can have, you know, you can kind of stuff it. Like there's there's enough room. It's not gonna be as stuffable as the hand stitch. That looks like you can really go to town with it. <laughs> but um, for the price, like I think this is probably my most expensive. Uh, Look out is also, um, not cheap but he also does you know his work is impeccable this is really truly handmade um leather craft like he really is an artist uh, when he does things like that the cover like this is not an easy thing to do um and i really really appreciate his work and you know that when you purchase a cover for him you're gonna get you know a unique beautiful piece so yeah yeah, this one I really wanna I really wanna journal in it, but right now I'm in my cousin mm, or graph notebook A5. Uh the Sojourner Travel Trifold, I've already talked about it many times. It was probably my first cover that I truly fell in love with and it will always, always stay with me. I'm still hoping that once I move out of this apartment I find my original one just because it had so much history. But I would probably end up keeping both. Maybe not, I don't know because the other one didn't have the designer pocket. That said, I did not bond with this one. I think it's too soft for me and yeah, I did not bond with it. I think it would work better if I stuffed my Hobonichi and it would be like all yummy and stuffy, but um, it's not the case. So this one, I'm actually gonna let that go to somebody else. <clears throat> probably post it in the buy sell trade but if you're really interested you can always email me at I'll put my email there my Earl Grey is I mean it's look at this this is just beautiful leather I don't know if they're bringing it back I know that since COVID like it's more of a problem of getting the leather so I'm not sure if they're planning on getting it back um, I'll look up if there's any um, notes on that in the group and if I find anything I'll put it in the bottom of the screens but yeah so what is going to stay are obviously these two uh, staples and these two uh, the hand stitch leather tee and I really want to try to journal in this um, I really want to give it a chance because I think it's a little bit sturdier than most I may add elastics I feel like I should have added elastics I think I would be more um, happier with the elastic so I'm going to be doing that myself I have all the tools I just need to get the elastic but these two I am letting go of so I still will have four <laughs> A6 leather covers but I'm letting go of my Giglio Apunto and Rust and my Sojourner Trifolio this one is not it doesn't have elastic I didn't ask for the elastic on this one because the leather is so soft you're gonna get that kind of you know um, well, if you just do that, once you have the book in there, it actually is nice and snug. But yeah, these two are gonna go and I am keeping these four. I will be an updated, um, be doing an updated leather cover <laughs> collection because some have gone <clears throat> from my last one. Some stayed that I wanted to sell and I decided not to. And I'm also waiting for another mini Filofax 
um, fun fact, I went to the Filofax website to get inserts for my Mini Melden and I found some, but I also found that there was another Mini one that looked more like my jam. So I'm waiting for it to come here and if it, did, it is, I'll probably be letting go of my Mini Melden as well. Um, it just seemed more like the kind of leather I wanted for a Mini. But this is it. These are my beautiful journal. I mean, let's be honest. I make these videos because I want to touch them and play with them and show them off because it's lovely. Maybe someday once the COVID restrictions are completely lifted, we should try to do like some kind of meetup where everybody shows up at a cafe in LA. That's where I am. It'll be fun. But this is the new one. And yeah this is all the beauties even the ones i'm letting go of i found them gorgeous i just know that if i'm not if i'm not staying in them right after i get them which happened with both of them that means it's not it's not really gonna work and because i have other choices um i won't they will be left behind and that's kind of a shame they need to be used so I hope um, you enjoyed this video that was very uh, rambly. It's early in the morning, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.